Well, this past weekend we had a lot of rain, like between four and five inches in probably about 12 hours time. And of course, the plants are very happy. Uh, we don't water the plants in the grove at all. And so, you know, this was like a feast for them. Uh, already they are looking even perkier than they were just last week. Another benefit of having all the rain besides watering everything uh, is that it washes the spores away from powdery mildew. Now, powdery mildew is a fungus that really um, can decimate the flowers on mango trees. It all depends on, you know, how much damage uh, depends on the timing of the bloom, the stage that the bloom is in when powdery mildew is active, and also the weather. Uh, powdery mildew thrives in humid air, but when it's not raining. And uh, when the rain comes, that's yay for the plants and the flowers because the rain will actually wash away the spores of the powdery mildew. What damage has already occurred to the panicles, you cannot undo. This is our Mulgoba tree, which is just like should be a national treasure. It's over a hundred years old and doing great, making great mangoes. And fortunately for us right now, uh, it is making more flowers. So we have a lot of young flowers uh, in the top of the tree and just certain areas. And uh, so we have a lot of flower panicles that are not going to be producing fruit. But then we've got some that look really promising for fruit. So because this tree is so huge, it's probably going to be a pretty good year, even though powdery mildew has hit spots in you know just different parts of this tree uh, so what we're also doing right now is spraying yay for us because finally the sprayer is fixed we missed a lot of spray season this year because uh, we were missing a part uh, on our spray rig and now uh, well it worked unfortunately it broke again because of having an encounter with a tree limb uh, yesterday but we do have um, we did get to spray a lot of the grove yesterday and it looks like we're going to be able to spray some more uh, what we were spraying uh, was sulfur because powdery mildew is still out there but we're also spraying some nutritional things for the plants. Uh, you know, when you spray the leaves, the leaves actually take up a lot of nutrients very well. So the bottom line is that powdery mildew can be a problem, uh, but the impact that it has on your trees depends on several things. Uh, one of the things is, of course, the weather. Another is the variety of mango that you grow or the varieties that you grow. Another thing is uh, like what stage your trees are at when the ideal conditions for powdery mildew occur. And so if you have blooms that have not yet emerged, you're pretty good. Uh, but sometimes you'll just get different stages on the same tree uh, like we did on Mogoba. And so you, we lose some of the uh, fruit but or potential fruit and there's other promising areas. Uh, and of course, the last thing is uh, whether you spray or not. Spraying sulfur is definitely very effective at combating powdery mildew. The main thing, uh, you know, sort of to conclude uh, is that powdery mildew happens. Uh, the spores are just everywhere in South Florida and they're active with the cool and dry weather, but of course with the humidity. And, uh, but there's certain varieties of mango that are more susceptible to powdery mildew than others. And one of the uh, weird things is Nam Dok Mai uh, is susceptible to powdery mildew, but it gets powdery mildew and makes fruit anyway. That's rather unusual. Usually when powdery mildew hits a panicle, it just wipes everything out. Uh, so uh, the main thing to take away from this is you're not alone if you've gotten powdery mildew, uh, but there are things that you can do to sort of keep it at bay. So if you got hit hard this year, uh, try spraying sulfur next year. It's very effective.
Okay, one final, final thing is that, of course, this is a bloom, a panicle that has been hit by powdery mildew. And if you have a panicle that looks like this, even though you might have some small fruit on it, uh, it's not happening. That fruit is not being supported and just say goodbye to everything. You can have a little ceremony, but uh, take goodbye, say goodbye to all the little fruits on the pinnacle that looks like this because they're not going to develop. There's nothing you can do at, if your pinnacle has gotten to this stage other than make a note on your calendar for next year to spray sulfur. 